How y'all, Tom Zort, the Ruby Traction here, giving you what I would say is a dining quick tip, quick bite. Um, I'm here in Epcot at the UK Pavilion. A go-to lunch snack option for me, which is the fish and chips. Of course, I have the malt vinegar because I'm a malt vinegar type of person. Sometimes people realize they go into the trend of the chicken tenders, the pizza, the burgers. You got to get out of that sometimes. Now, I know there are plenty of great dining options behind me in the World Showcase, but sometimes you just want something simple and quick. And I ordered this and I got it in like right away. So when I say that, it's a go-to, it's a go-to for expediency and as well as flavor. It's always a good fry, like it's a good crisp fish, nice cod, and a good crunch. Let's see fully how it is. So I try to bite without the malt vinegar on it. That's my own bad. I also feel like I have to get like a Diet Coke or a soda with fish and chips if I'm not getting a beer. Like you just need to have that like that type of flavor. It's not an iced tea type of uh, meal. So you really have to uh, expand on that more, um, I don't know, carbonic, since the, uh, the carbonated aspect of soda and beer in some way. Don't get me why, I don't know. I'm drenching the fish and chips in malt vinegar right now. You don't need to see this. It's like you're very hard open and oddly enough everything's from Heinz not my favorite malt vinegar I like HP for that but that's okay let's try these chips a little bit they're not as nice as the ones from Cooks in Dublin during that live stream the other day but they're crispy they're passable here's a big piece of fish you got too I, that's really helpful it was a smaller piece, I think I'd be upset. It's like $18 with the fish and chips and the drink. A little pricey. Things have been getting definitely more pricey at the parks. That used to be the price for like a table service meal. Table service meals are now like 40. Everything's kind of just going up in price. I might put too much malt vinegar, everything will fall apart, but that's okay. See what I mean about it getting a little mushy? The batter didn't last that long with the malt vinegar. It's not a good thing, just saying. Oddly enough, there's no salt on the chips. So the malt vinegar is really coming in handy. What do you think, Zort? Oh, you have an opinion this time. You get an opinion. So, this is Tom and Zort, the Rogue Attraction, giving you a, my opinion, great little outside, it's not too high out, lunch or snack. Don't think I'd do dinner, but definitely worth, I think, I think it's worth it. Just eat quickly. And uh, don't be afraid to be a fool. Have fun on your vacation. I won't bite, but uh, he might. And I'll see you all in the park. Bye.